All right, guys, welcome back to the video where we're actually doing CCG Select uh, Hidden Treasure Mystery Box. This is actually really cool. So uh, it is vintage packs. As you can see, you get four booster packs, three mystery items, randomly inserted graded cards or packs, and yeah, and two bonus items per pack. Hopefully, we can get something really cool. Uh, uh, the reviews were really bad on this uh, particular mystery box. If you guys want, just let me know in the comments and I can put the, um, oh god, okay. I can put like the description of what we have in this or like the description of getting it. So we start with, oh, okay. We start with a trick or treat pack um, and some stickers. Uh, trick or treat pack is kind of sus, okay. Oh, we do have four packs, but trick or treat pack, I guess, is a bonus. We have, um, is this a Pokemon? I've never seen a Pokemon that looks like that. We do have four packs here, plus the, this is a bonus pack, so I'm not going to open it. But we do have, okay, we got a Crown Zenith, that's pretty cool. We got Lost Origin, that's really nice. Pokemon Go and Obsidian Flame. So, I mean, I feel like Crown Zenith just makes it kind of worth it. Let me hire you guys a little bit. I feel like Obsidian Flame is actually really cool to open. Next, we'll look at the next mystery box. This one's a little bit more chunky. So, you know, I don't know how to feel about that in particular. Sorry if I'm just tearing this up. I think this is, it's going to be like one of those deck boxes. Okay, they put everything in the deck box. I don't know if that's a good sign, a bad sign, or a weird sign, but let's open this deck box. Alright, here we go. So these are the packs. Oh, I see Pokemon 151. Okay. We got divider, and we got some code, and we got some stickers. Okay. I'm going to put that to the side, but we do have Pokemon 151, a Silver Tempest, Astral Radiant, and Palde Evolved. So not bad, they kind of crush these packs, if you can see. So we're going to open these. Uh, we're going to go by... Uh, we'll just go in order, I guess. I'll open Pokemon 151 last, though. So another thing we have to look at is, are these packs weighed? Have they been weighed? Are we going to get any pulls? Are we going to get no pulls at all? This is how they evolve. So we'll see. We'll see if we're just going to get nothing at all, meaning the cards were probably weighed. So here we go. Got a Sneasel, Gothic, Mischief, Wingle, that, that, Talaflame, Tyranitar. Ooh, I do see a hit there. Meryl, and a Meow Snerda EX. All right. Well, at least we know that they're not quote unquote weighed at all. I mean, not at all, but maybe they are weighed. Maybe they're not, but. Getting a hit is actually pretty nice. Especially, I've never pulled that card. So, I will I will most definitely take it. There's the code card from... <coughs> <coughs> Astral Radiant, sorry, I am still very sick. So, here we go. Got an energy. That. Switch card. Oh, Ponyta. There we go. Psyduck, Petal, Standler, that, and ended on an Arcanine, a Suian. Now we go to Silver Tempest. I did really like Silver Tempest as a set, but I think that was mostly because my luck during Silver Tempest was ridiculous. I pulled Lugia like four times. So, you know, that, that probably has like a very, very big impact on how I feel about the set. So we got an energy here. We got Tang, Girl, Pop, that, Murkrow, Swablu, Rotom, Fletchlinger, and that as well. I'm actually very excited to open um the Crown Zena. So this one is an Obsidian Flame Pack. That means we go straight through this pack because there's no card trick for Obsidian Flame. We got a Vestar, Rowlet, Finis, Mauve, this, 
that. Oh, Excella drill. Start in grunt. Patina, and that's it. Now we have Pokemon Go. I feel like I haven't opened Pokemon Go in a long time. And Pokemon Go was also one of my lucky sets where, believe it or not, I pulled the Mewtwo alternate artwork like seven or eight times. Um, I almost pulled it every time I was like opening the set, which is actually crazy if you think about it. So we have an energy, we have a slow bro. That went in that that too. This slow poke Vadoof. Oh, I thought Vadoof could be a ditto, but this one isn't a ditto. And then a Lapras. Now we have is this this is lost origin i i have not actually ever pulled the garatina alternate artwork of this set so i would love to that would be that would be it right hopefully got an energy that lost vacuum silicone the dot horsey well shell this mafo And that to end it. Next we have a Crown Xena. Crown Zenith is such a nice set, man. That's all I have to say. Let's hope we get something out of this. Like at least a hit. Right? Because Ground Zenith is a beautiful set, man. Beautiful. All the cards just look incredible. Here we go. Energy. Crushing Hammer. Rare Candy, Rock Rough, Seal, on that, thanks, and, ah, oh, just a lit. And now, we end on Pokemon 151. It's actually really cool. I really do like Pokemon 151 as a set. I know I haven't opened much of it, mainly because it's so expensive. So just getting it randomly in these mystery boxes isn't bad. So Horsey... Nidoran, Abra, Diglett, Nerino, that's a cute, Graveler, Bulbasaur, Graveler again, and ending on a Mr. Mime. And then, let's open this as well. I actually haven't opened uh, any Trick or Treat pack. I hope this is, this is, has to be 2023, right? Can you check it? Yeah, this is a 2023 trick or treat. I haven't opened the series once, so I don't know what to expect. We got a Bennett. We got a Gengar, that's actually really cool. And we got a Shuppet. Okay, that's really nice. That's gonna be the end of it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.